In this episode of Home Tech Decisions, we're going to compare the Philips Hue Sync along with the Gradient Light Strip and some play bars to a more affordable option here from Govee. Uh, in this episode, we'll talk about the different features, the overall cost. We're going to look at the app and give some examples of them set up in our house. I set this up in my house down in our basement. Uh, Colton set his up in his basement as well. Uh, so we're just going to compare and then talk about our experience. We have the Hue Sync, which retails for $230. The Hue Play Bar Kit, which retails for $150. The Gradient Light Strip, which retails between $230 and $280, depending on size. And the Hue Bridge, which retails for $60. Here we have the Govi Immersive Kit Wi-Fi TV Backlit Light Bar, retails for $150. So I have the Philips Hue set up in our basement and we really only use it when we're watching movies or uh, playing games and it is a really cool effect. Uh, I like it a lot. I don't know if it's worth the money overall to be honest. Uh, it would be kind of hard to justify. Uh, but I do think it's a very high quality product overall. Uh, so starting with the setup, the Philips Hue Sync which is this box right here. Uh, very easy to set up. You plug in your HDMI in and then your HDMI out. And so you can have a number of different uh, devices plugged into it. Uh, they did update it now, so it is a higher refresh rate, which was a complaint that some people had when they first came out. Uh, but they have addressed that. Uh, and so I would say the syncing with, uh, with the TV or movies and games is really good. They're, you can dial in the intensity and it matches very well. Uh, little to no lag whatsoever and it does have a really cool effect. Um, one of my complaints, of course, is that, you know, I had to buy all three of these uh, to achieve what's in one box right there. Uh, so I've got the 75-inch uh, TV downstairs, so I got the 75-inch gradient uh, place er, strip, uh, which is it's gonna do all the different colors, which is really cool. And it has, does have a very nice like rubber um, thing that it's in and it was fairly easy to install. Uh, my TV does have like an angle to it and like the texture on the back is a little difficult and so I did find that the 3M adhesive uh, didn't stick very well. It, the light strip itself is rather heavy and so it felt like it was pulling down and uh, occasionally it would come downstairs and you know one side is hanging off and that was a minor annoyance. Uh, and then as well with this it's only going to go around the three sides it doesn't go along the bottom uh, and so i actually supplemented with a couple of these play bars i have them down on our entertainment uh, console uh, shooting up which looks really cool uh, so what i did was i set up an entertainment zone with all three of these uh, products uh, and it looks really nice and uh, you know it can sync with the movies through the sync box it can also sync uh, just using the app and doing like Spotify, which was pretty cool. Um, and I, I do enjoy that you're able to make the entertainment zone and you can you know control them individually or uh, together and do the different themes. Uh, but I would like to see you know some dynamic um, effects as well because uh, all the different options you can pick through are are just static. And so uh, if I have this light strip set up, I I want to have like this cool. Hawaiian theme background, I can do that. But if I wanted to do like some fun Halloween effect, uh, you would have to download like a separate app and pay uh, just to get that feature, which is kind of lame. I would expect more for how much you pay for these products. Uh, but very easy to set up. Uh, and then using the bridge, which of course not included, but I had one from other Philips Hue uh, products I had purchased in the past. Uh, set up as a breeze, it communicates uh, via Zigbee across from each other. It uses the HDMI sync box, so we're not attaching any cameras, which I thought was, was kind of nice. Uh, so overall, really cool, great performance. Just not sure if it's worth the money or not. For literally more than half of the price off, you get this Govi Immersion Kit, which I have in my basement, and I absolutely love it. It has the light strips that go around the back of the TV. Uh, I have a 65 inch uh, TV and it works just fine there. It also has the, the extra lights that go out to kind of help uh, project the light out a little bit. 
A cool thing about it though is uh, you have a little camera that you can attach either to the top of the TV or at the bottom of the TV that looks up at the picture and it mimics whatever's on screen and it gives you a complete immersion. I did it watching the Jungle Cruise and it was so crazy like the Jurassic Greens and the blues and the other colors that it would put on the wall that made you actually feel like you were in the jungle. That was a big wow factor for me. And all of it comes in this little box. All of this stuff fits in here and is very high quality. The LED lights are super bright. Um, within the app, you can also dim and you can go, you know, uh, brightness to, to darkness and you can adjust how bright those different colors are, which is a great feature. Um, it also connects with, you know, Google and Alexa and those different kind of, um, you know, home devices. So it makes it a lot easier when you're walking into your theater room and you can say, hey, Google, turn on so-and-so or hey, A, turn on so-and-so. Um, it's really a very seamless, um, it took me about 20 minutes to set everything up from opening the box, putting everything on the back of the TV, connecting everything up. It was very, very easy to use and user friendly. Yeah, so it sounds like your experience is really similar to mine with setup, where it's just, you know, a matter of plug and play and yep. you're up and running within 15, 20 minutes. Absolutely. Uh, how has the adhesive been for your light strips? I had absolutely no problem. Um, you know, I held the, the, the light strips and I kind of walked it over and, okay. and taped it on there and taped it down. Um, the nice thing is, is the light strips came in like four different pieces, but they were all connected, but they weren't completely like round. So then you could make the angles and they just go straight down, which I thought was a very nice feature to have. So you didn't have to worry about bending or twisting. It just meant to go right down and, and across. So. And is there any light diffusion going on with the strips or is it just the raw, uh, raw light strip? It's just the raw light strip, which I actually prefer because with the amount of them on there, it just really melds it into place. It doesn't show, hey, like there's a light bulb there, there's a light bulb there, there's a light bulb there because it's so Im immersive and they're so bright uh, if that's how you have it set up. Yeah, I would agree with you on that. So with the Philips Hue gradient light strip, you know, it's in this big rubberized tube, which uh, is made for diffusion, which is great, but there isn't any adhesive backing on the light uh, strip itself. And so the 75 inch in particular is, it is quite heavy. And so we're relying on those brackets. And in my experience, they, I did have uh, some issues with that. So I think that's an area that uh, Philips Hue could certainly improve upon, um, especially for the price that you pay. I mean, Philips Hue is kind of known for being on the more expensive side. Uh, but you know, I would expect a little bit more. I do love the sync box. I think they could do better with the light strip, and I, it would be really cool to see it all packaged together, uh, you know, so you're not having to buy these and then get the bridge. So, yeah. I think bang for your buck, uh, it's hard to argue with the Govi, especially right. for something like this that, you know, is kind of a luxury. You know, it's, it's not something that is needed by any means. No. And uh, for me, you know, it's like, well, that's really cool, but like, hard to justify eight hundred dollars just to get that effect. Where with Govi, you can get that for what was it, one hundred fifty bucks? Wow. Yep. Yeah, that's an incredible deal. And it's worth every penny to me. It's the it's a big wow factor. It's something unique that not a lot of people have. So you know, if you have people like friends or family come over to watch a movie, and they see that, it's really like the wow. And all of a sudden, they're going to want to come over more and more and and do those kind of things. So only make sure that you invite people that you want in your home. So I'm not welcome. But uh, <laughs> uh, when you had it all set up, are you able to add other products like the lamps uh, and other light strips uh, to that entertainment zone? Or are you kind of limited to uh, mirroring what's you know just within this kit? No, so we also have two Govi uh, lamps that I've also connected into this. And so you can turn them on and they will adjust. Uh, they aren't full immersive, so like they won't go with whatever is being on, on there from, from that aspect. But they also um, are within the same um, app, in, app okay. family and infrastructure, and so you can um, also control them with all of those different features. Awesome, so you're controlling them within the same app, but you're, they're yep. not, there isn't like an entertainment zone. No. 
Okay, so within Phillips Hue, they do have that entertainment zone, which I think is, is pretty cool. Um, and then the other thing I think that's a really big point of differentiation between Philips Hue products and Gobi products in general is just like connectivity. Uh, so uh, the new Philips Hue products will connect via Bluetooth, but their primary mode of connection is going to be uh, through the bridge, and that's a, a Zigbee a, uh, specific for Philips Hue actually. And so with the sync box, that's what you're going to want to use. Uh, but with that, you're able to add a lot of different devices and you're not you know, relying on a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, so I think from a re reliability standpoint and creating like really immersive entertainment zones where you're including like, a lot of different lights, uh, you could have you know, other bulbs that are part of your entertainment zone in your theater, a whole bunch of light strips or the accent lamps are around the room that would add to the overall effect. And within the app, you can actually like identify where in the room exactly it is, what the height is, uh, and so it, it mirrors the effects that uh, it's creating on TV, which is really cool. But again, you're gonna pay a, a premium price for that. Stay tuned, because in our next video, we're gonna be comparing the Philips Hue lamp versus the Govi lamp and all of those fun features. And while you're at it, hit subscribe, Hit that bell notification so you see all of our content when we release them.